Now it's, that would be a talent. And so because that's, that's <laughs> acid. <laughs> <laughs> and so, some kind of venom. <laughs> no. Oh, oh wait. Um, neurotoxin. Yeah, it go. is a neurotoxin. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess we're supposed to hit the live button over here for Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is always the problem child. It, it oh, is. Oh, 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 look at it. There we are. And so that's why the Pope kicked me out of the Vatican himself. Ah, okay. well, that does make sense. <laughs> I told you not to mess with the smoke colors. Man. <laughs> oh, 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 hello. Hello and welcome. Good morning. morning. To another edition of The Morning Cup. Dun, dun, dun. At least you didn't burn a flame. What, yeah, I, well, true. I'm really shocked that I did. Yeah. Nice dress, but your purse is on fire. That's what we always <laughs> said to the priest walking down the aisles. But anyway, we won't go into that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's great. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Nice dress, but your purse is on fire. Wow. Yeah. I like that. Interesting. It, it makes sense. That Good takes one. me down memory lane with stories my dad told me. He he went through seminary school. So, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, nice go. purse. Well, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, that nice dress, but your purse is on fire. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does work out. Oh, so anyway, welcome to the morning cup. <laughs> it is uh, it is your interesting uh, morning show that uh, sometimes goes off as planned and sometimes has some weirdness going on in it. Not only weirdness. Yeah, weirdness. at least we f- didn't forget the mic today. We, By we, I mean yeah, me. Yeah, what's this we? Um, yeah. Is it the right mic that's on? Yeah, I know. No, I'm both seeing red. <clears throat> oh, I see a mute uh, button. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, the one that's muted is actually desktop audio. Okay. okay. So if you want to play okay. anything like our morning music... That one has to be unmuted, otherwise we'll be sitting here dancing, listening to it, but nobody will have any idea what's going on. Oh, okay. We so, did that once. Yeah. I did, yeah, while, while, you were while gone. I was gone. Yeah, you told me all about it. Was it was pretty funny. We were dancing around like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. That's oh, yeah. really loud. I and already started dancing. You already start. You can't start dancing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's, where's, we have to where's do Rupert, Rupert after this. He's, he's the intro after the intro. We have two intros? Yeah, we do. It's us dancing and we'll go to Rupert. You don't, we're, want, we're, you don't want to do Rupert? We're two intro morning we, show. No, I do want Rupert. to do Rupert. All right, well, here, here's the song, and then we'll go to Rupert. <laughs> Sitting here dancing, I'm like, you know, sit. You, you, you interrupted Rupert. Sat, sitting dancing though is more like for headbanging, and that's oh. not the right music for headbanging. Not <laughs> quite. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like da, 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 da. Okay. okay. Well, we, we, yeah. we know that, was, that you, you guys have now delayed Rupert. <laughs> oh my want goodness. Rupert. You want Rupert? Rupert? Are we demand. ready for Rupert? Yeah. yeah. Rupert. And here we go. Fired across the bow of Thursday. Take gone. that, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. What do you have against Thursday? I don't know. It's just kind it's, of a. It's angel. not Murphy Monday. It's Thirsty Thursday. I thought it was Throwback Thursday. It's both. It's oh. yeah. thirsty, thirsty Throwback Thursday. Yeah. But I have to wait till tonight Maybe, to yeah. drink the stuff I'm interested in for Thirsty Thursday. That, I guess that means the whiskey's free flowing. I guess. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We have some comments here. That, Christine says, Teresa, you look great. I love that shirt. Yes. Thank you, Christine. Super cute. I do. I do like this shirt. I yes. just, I'm not real sure about the horizontal um, stripes. Or, oh, bleh. Yeah. Bleh. No, no, I've never been said. really a stripes person, though. Okay. <laughs> That's, That's fair. It, it's, and yet you own a striped shirt. <coughs> I know. It was on sale. For like 25 cents. <laughs> Holy crap! You, you sound like me. <laughs> we're on sale, so I bought it. And pretty much, yeah. We got coffin, we got sneezing, and I'm just. Man, we're just it's, falling apart. It's called oh, the AC kicked on, and we have allergies. Yes, it is definitely allergy season. <laughs> it is, it is. Oh, I'm just goodness. glad I'm not down in the valley anymore. All, yeah. the, all the Palo Verde trees. I was going to say, what are those called? Palo Verde trees. I feel like. I, feel I mean, like, they're beautiful, but. 
Oh, I is trying to. <laughs> no, you're good. I feel like my uh, my allergies get like slightly worse every year, and so mm-hmm. eventually I'm just gonna be miserable like everybody else. <laughs> yep. But but yeah, it's. I think this is the worst they've ever been, but they're not that bad. Yeah. So they'll, I they'll can't really I can't really complain about it too much. Don't get there. But every year is slightly worse. Yes, Keep so traveling. So. Yeah, they get worse as you travel. Oh, cool. And this then. is one of the things I discovered um, going through, I think it was an anthropology class or a biology class. I can't remember. One of the ologies. Uh, <laughs> when you live in one area your entire life, your immune system builds up and gets used to the allergens in the, in the um, environment. And then as, as you move around... You're not used to it, and so your allergies get worse, actually. That makes sense. (laughs) It does. So, yeah, keep traveling. I was indestructible. I was indestructible and allergic to absolutely nothing (laughs) forever. And then you joined the Marine Corps. (laughs) No, actually. That had nothing to do with it. I was completely indestructible until probably five or six years ago here in Page. I've been here for about 16, but about five or six years ago, all of a sudden... I was allergic to tumbleweeds, to oh. ragweed, to this, to that. I'm now allergic to wood. <laughs> yeah, how am I allergic? Not that kind of wood. Not that kind of wood. I said nothing. <laughs> Not that kind. <laughs> but my brain did. <laughs> uh, I wish I would have seen the uh, look on your face because I was... Uh, yeah, everyone crazy. else did. Not that kind of... No, I'm talking about... I, I, you know, we had, we had the, you know, the whole tumbleweeds and everything, and the tumbleweeds are really bad in the ragweeds, mm-hmm. and uh, I'd start, you know, I'd, I'd be out clearing fields, or I'd be working in a field that had tumbleweeds in it, and uh, I used to do some contracting work for the local cable company, and you'd have to crawl into, the, you know, those little tiny pedestals, you know, that you see the little green ones? Yes. Yeah, well, you'd have to get in there, and you'd have to work in it. And it would be surrounded by tumbleweeds, so I'd kind of like squirrel around and crawl down in it and then start working. And when I'd come out, I'd have welts and blisters all over my arms, my sinuses would be running and everything. And so I finally figured out after about a year that I must be allergic to them. It took a while. Yeah, I know, I know. It took a while for me to figure it out. And then, uh, uh, I don't know, it was a couple years after that, I was out with a friend of mine and we were out cutting down wood and everything. You know, for the for the winter time, we were cutting it down and hauling it to the truck, and I had a short sleeve shirt on. And when I got home, I had the same thing. I had welts and blisters all over my arm, and they just wouldn't go away. And I figured, eh, I got into like some poison ivy or poison oak or something while I was out in the woods. Turned out it wasn't that; it was actually the wood contacting my skin. And I figured that out because I was crawling around in an attic, you know, where they have all the two by fours uh-huh. with the rafters. Every place that I set my hand or my arm on that wood, I'd have a huge welt or a blister. So. Are you sure that part wasn't uh, fiberglass? No, the fiberglass caused other problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was. That's we won't go good. into the fiberglass <laughs> issues. But no, yeah, so I'm allergic, you know, and, I, and for my whole life, never allergic to anything, and now apparently, you know, if I look at something the wrong way, I'm, it's not good. You you hit your your. 30s about five or six years ago though too huh? no, i didn't <coughs> that was more like eight years ago <laughs> right right but yeah yeah apparently uh-huh. my immune system said hey i'm out see you later Bye. <laughs> this is what happens when you get old children <laughs> yes don't do it don't it's a old. trap <laughs> yeah. enjoy it while you can stay away <laughs> No. <laughs> Christine is laughing at you that it took a whole year for you to realize oh, that you were allergic. I'm a little slow when it comes to stuff. I was never allergic to anything. It was a shock. If it makes you feel any better, it took me like 20-something years to realize that I was allergic to antiperspirant and deodorant. And I believe I helped you, you figure helped, that you're out. You're the one yeah. who helped me figure I just lived with giant welts under my armpits forever. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, you had yeah. a metal allergy. Yeah, something. Mm-hmm. It was allergic. a metal allergy, and they have they have uh, titanium and aluminum in those things. And yeah. Yeah, you were allergic to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it took me, like, way longer than it should have to figure yeah. that yeah. one out. So, so if you have anything <laughs> strange happening with your body or your sinuses or anything like that, you should probably think about it and get it sorted up before you wait 20 years or a whole year. <laughs> There's definitely something going on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and although Benadryl does work great, it puts me in a coma, so... But that's why it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's if true. you're asleep, you can't run around touching ragweed. <laughs> that's <There you> true. 
It's like, do you want to not have allergies, or do you not want to wake up until tomorrow? I mean, it's, eh. I guess in the end, it's about the same, but then you don't get the same amount of work that's accomplished there. And Gina says, uh, on sale is awesome. Yes, it is, Gina. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I have to, um, I have to ask about your, uh, your, your meme here. Oh yes, on yes. The, on the corner of yes, our background, as you can see up here. We have the Honorable Abe Lincoln with a with a cell phone. Which way? This way? Yeah, that way. Yeah, that right way. there. This way. I know, isn't that hard? It's I know, like, I'm like, I don't backward. know which direction to point it. Yeah. Oh, oh, see, oh, y'all are oh. weird because it's easy for me. Because <laughs> like, you're, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, you're backwards. Well, you're, I was going to say, your brain's backwards anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, so. I, I'm dyslexic, so. Hmm. Yeah, dyslexic, so she can figure it out. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Back to Honest Abe over here. He's got a cell phone with the hashtag TBT. This is it. I, I have a feeling that that's not, not a real photo. I think it's a real photo. Oh, that's a historic photograph. That is. Know. You know what? I found it on the internet. That means yeah. it's true. Oh, no. Exactly. It is 100% true. He had a cell phone. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what? Lincoln, I, I want to see if he has like a Snapchat that we can subscribe to. <laughs> he had one of those Nokia phones that just never breaks. There you go. Right. Now that doesn't look like Nokia. Those. That looks like an Apple or something. Oh, he's got right. an it's iPhone. probably an Apple. Yeah. 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 So anyway, hashtag TBT. It's Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. So uh, you know, uh, there, there's a lot of stuff out there about Throwback Thursday. Everyone thinks that uh, that it's actually started like with Instagram and stuff, and that you show pictures of the way. Things used to be, you know, like uh, you used to be skinny or you used to be fat and now you're skinny, you know, it's throwback. So, you you know, and the same thing started on Facebook and everybody started bringing back, you know, well, that's actually not where it started. Okay. Yeah, it's actually not where it started. So I have, you know, one of those useless, interesting factoids, hashtag throwback Thursday. And it wasn't a hashtag originally. Its origin was from Sports Illustrated. The origin uh, of the term was a sneaker-specific blog named Nice Kicks. According to uh, to Sports Illustrated, this blog began a practice of regular postings on Thursdays of photos of old basketball footwear in 2006. Huh. Yeah, I That's thought that interesting. was interesting. And I verified that at like three places because I'm like, really? That's, that yeah, yeah. Throwback Thursday started with Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated, it's illustrated and that it was a blog about old shoes. Wow. That makes sense. Though. And, uh, you know, when we go with the old shoes, you guys have seen these before. But oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, check yeah. out that. There's the freeze frame. There's the Yeah, right there. That up gonna, in the freeze frame. Yeah. You know, just look at it. It looks like my foot's been detached from the rest of my it body. It does. It also <laughs> looks like it's going to go off her nose. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> 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 Put the oh. foot down. You're Put getting stuck down. on my Gina coffee. says, I am allergic to deodorants as well. Yeah. Well, I, I actually broke it down. I figured it was a metal allergy because you had some issues you were telling me about one time. You're like, well, if, if you wore certain jewelry or something. I don't remember what it was, but there you was mentioned something and something clicked. And I'm like, I'll bet you have a metal allergy, which is why you have problems with deodorant. You're like, really? It's yeah. like, yeah, look at the ingredients right here. Yeah. And it had metal in it. It's and actually a lot more common than than you would think. Like, mm-hmm. at, at almost every time I mention it anywhere, somebody speaks up and says, "Oh my gosh, me too. I have the same thing." Hashtag so, me too. Yeah, basically <laughs> with, with metal allergies. Too, yeah, metal allergies. Yeah. Antiperspirant. Mm-hmm. Well, at least that makes more sense. That's so true. throwback <laughs> Thursday. Throwback Thursday. So that's that's what yes. that is. That's why we have a picture of good old Abe with a cell phone. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the throwback Thursday as to what people think it means, not what it actually started out. Okay, all right, all right. I have something here. Oh, and she also brought up. Don't forget, it is Thirsty Thursday, though most of us cannot participate until farther into the workday or after Pretty the much. work day. <laughs> I need I need transition. I need that. Oh, you need this over here? Yes. Okay. But that little thing. Oh, I will see what I can do. I'm not guaranteeing anything. That's here. adorable. <clears throat> oh, just wait. Is that you? That was me, yes. Yeah, give me just a moment. <laughs> so you're going to have to talk while I'm trying to figure this out. Here. <laughs> so you're really so, taking Throwback Thursday, like, uh, very literally. literally. I you am, are. I wow. am. <laughs> so way back. That's way, way, way back. I keep having and, a song pop and, in my head, and I can't remember where it's from. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, how long did you have that song stuck in your head? And then I, I, I visited one weekend... And you started humming it or whistling it. And oh, I was like, yeah. oh, that's Kill Bill. Kill, <laughs> the 
Bill Bill was. Dun, 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 <laughs> yeah. It was about a year? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, it was you're a year. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, it's a song, right? Okay, is this you? This is me. I was around one, two years old. Oh, so this is my you're throwback you're Thursday. Like, you're I was cute. cute. You used to be cute and I did. innocent. I, look at I that. I don't think I was ever innocent. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is my my uh, contribution to Throwback Thursday. I like it. it. I like a, it. A, a little, a little me, a little less. Yeah, yeah That's I was, adorable. I was, and uh, unfortunately, cute. I don't have a better picture because this was taken amazingly. Um, this this picture was emailed to me by my mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She took a phone photo of it. And okay. my mom is horrible. Uh-huh. I, take, I love you, mom. But her mom it, is seriously <laughs> technologically handicapped. She is. She is. Um, and uh, she she is the one that makes you cringe when she takes a photo of something on her phone. Um, <laughs> so I was surprised it actually came came across in in as high yeah, it quality did, it, it as did it did. It did come across really nice. Um, but I love you, mom. But yes. No. <laughs> yeah, so this was actually back before the electronic it definitely, camera revolution. Definitely. This one, this this photo, my mom has it, and it's um, probably about that big. Okay, okay. So, and I know, I know there's a negative out there. Somewhere. Somewhere. Well, a negative or a slide. <laughs> no, I don't think she put that one on a slide. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you remember those old slideshows your family used to get? You I put the carousel do. on there and... Yes. You push that button and it would go, and then yeah. <laughs> I love those When they things. did that in school. Yeah, well, that too. Yeah. You know, my dad that's... actually. So, so you know, you've got the whole the whole thing where people like make music videos and they do picture slideshows. You know, it was, it was a big thing for a while yes. before the internet actually caught up to the point where you could do video and do that kind of thing. So, my dad back in the day, he he had some amazing talents that are completely useless now. But back then, it was really cool. He used to actually make music videos using VHS tapes, a reel-to-reel machine, and a couple of VCRs. Holy crap. <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. And they turned out really well. He'd have cuts and stuff. He did one for the Navy's. I think it was their 200th birthday. That was a while ago. But uh, Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a while ago. But anyway, <laughs> he did this really cool thing, and it had all kinds of, you know, it had all kinds of footage in it from aircraft carriers and everything and he had the music and it was all cut and spliced and perfectly put together so it looked like a professional rendition of an actual music video before we had computers in everyday household use i don't even want to know how long it took him it took him like a month or two (laughs) (laughs) and he was just sitting over there working on it and that reel to reel back and forth (laughs) wow that was pretty impressive. But, you know, nowadays, even production and mm-hmm. the editing process and all of that with all the graphics takes mm-hmm. around the same time. Well, yeah, but now they've got computer graphics, they've got right. CGI, they've got all of that. So but it still takes around the same time, if yeah. not longer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but back then, I mean, I mean it, doing right. it in your household, that was a little different. That is, that is. <laughs> Gina says, oh, so adorable. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, she used Aww. to be cute and innocent. Look at that. I don't, like I said, I don't think I was ever innocent. We'll go with cute and innocent for now. <laughs> But that wouldn't surprise me in the least. <laughs> it wouldn't either. <clears throat> I don't remember way back then. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So, uh, what do, have, Wait, do you no, have? I, what? Oh, oh, do you have a throwback Thursday? No, go for it. What were you going to Well, say? I was going to go with this day in history because since it is throwback Thursday, we're going to do a history. And go before, for it. It's, it's not really entertaining, but it is interesting. Go for it. All right, all right. So... I, I pulled this up here somewhere. No, this is oh, that, my that's... this is my window. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yes, I have lost your window, my window is down there somewhere. No, that one's no, mine. No. There. there. Okay, this go. is mine. There we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, we've got three people's content strewn all over the screens down here. Who knows what's gonna happen? All right. So this day in 1769, and the reason I pulled this up is because we got we got old old Abe right here, right? So this one this one has to do with George Washington. On this day in 1769, George Washington launched a legislative salvo at Great Britain's fiscal and judicial attempts to maintain its control over the American colonies. With his sights set on protesting the British policy of taxation without representation, Washington brought a package of non-importation resolutions before the Virginia House of Burgesses. So... 
kind of an interesting thing goes with this, goes with that. And it's a really interesting fact, you know, because well, this day in history is when they're like, we've had enough. And the whole taxation without representation was, do we remember where that was put in that was really important? What? The Declaration <laughs> no, of Independence. Yes, it's too early. Yeah. Too early for I that. Was, oh, no. What? No. All right, all right. I mean, come on. I'm writing a paper oh, comparing no. American, <laughs> the American legal system and two others. It just, well, I, it, yeah. It's the no, Declaration it, 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 of it, Independence. It is too early. All right, all right. So, to be working on that. Back to <laughs> other Throwback <laughs> Thursdays that are more interesting. <laughs> what, what do you have for us, Becca, for Throwback <laughs> Thursdays? Can you move so your I rest didn't, I didn't quite go as far back as you, or you even. <laughs> uh, I only went back three years. So uh, this is a throwback Thursday from three years ago. Uh, and I will also need a photo transition. Oh, not that thing. I, oh. think, I know. Oh. I think oh, everyone... This so... Oh. I remember I this. I it stopped. still gives me a headache. I bet it does. It I, still gives me a I headache. I think I stopped using social media because for, of this. For yeah. my, because my throwback of this. Thursday just... is from 2015. No. And it was a, a social media thing uh, that kind of just... Just kind of it, it, it went was, viral. It, it went viral. It was completely uh, insane. It was completely it was. insane. It had people just arguing. Just and everybody arguing. knows knows what it was. Such arguments. You're gonna know this. Bam. <laughs> Who remembers that? The dress. Oh my goodness. I just and if you don't that, remember what it is, can you tell us, Becca, exactly <laughs> what this is? Yes. Here? So this is. <laughs> and don't don't you dare try and pick a side. <laughs> This is a photo of a dress that caused such division on the internet. It was. It almost started wars within households. Over what colors this dress is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some people say that the dress is white with gold lace Uh and trim. And other people say that it's blue with black lace and trim. And the people who saw the photo one way just could not see it the other way. And they were just arguing back and forth. In real life, the the true mystery solved, the dress actually is black and blue. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. It was, but it, it was this post that became completely viral. Mm-hmm. It split the internet. Yep. Uh, it split families, probably, because <laughs> people were so passionately sure I remember. I that remember. the colors that they were seeing were the correct colors. Yeah. And, you know, I actually saw it one way. I was actually able to see it the other way yeah. by staring at it and looking at it. And then I'd close my eyes and I'd think about it and look at it. And if you do that, you can actually see it both different ways. You can. You can. It's really creepy how that works out. It's very strange. But, yeah, that was huge. They do that a lot now, though. That's actually been, you know, so that after this thing went viral, people tried, you know, tried copying it because when something goes viral, everyone's like, oh, we got to do that. And, well, nowadays, they're, they're, you know, every once in a while, I'll see a post come across where it's like, what color is this or what shape is that, you know? And so, that's so all. yeah, so <laughs> you, you actually transitioned me perfectly. Uh, oh. Well, <laughs> because there is at least I'm useful for something. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a new. Uh, oh boy! What do we it, got? It's not a photo. It's no, not a photo. It's, not. it's an audio. I saw this. I didn't listen to it. Yet. <laughs> oh. oh no! I haven't listened to it either because of this fiasco. There is an know. audio clip oh, that no. sounds like someone is either saying Laurel. Mm-hmm. Or Yanny. And Yanny or Yanni? Yanny. Yanny. Okay, Yanny. okay. <laughs> Poor boy. So, yes, it David, terrible. it is. And it caused so much contention. Oh, <laughs> it was horrible. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this audio clip mm-hmm. has absolutely gone viral. Oh, no. Everybody has an opinion on whether they hear Laurel or Yanny. So you should have you told me at the beginning I would have tagged this. In the thing, so that people would come in and see what our interpretation was, because this sounds like it's going to be one of those. You can tag it after. You can, yeah. I didn't didn't want to spoil it. You might want to transition. So, so yeah. So we're going to play. We're going to play the audio 
Uh, for you guys, if you want to click, it's that middle tab right there. This one here? Yeah, that's oh, the one. Wow. Oh, boy. It's that okay, video. And two of us have not heard this. Two of you guys way. have not heard All it. All right, so I'm going to have to turn it up a little bit so we can I hear it. I not want to listen to well, this. Well, you're going to. So is it saying Yanny or Laurel is the whole is thing? Is the whole. And I, I have a prediction on which one you guys are going to hear. Uh, does it have to do with what brain you got going on or no, something like that? Okay. Not right. quite. Because mine ain't working at all. What do you mean what brain? <laughs> Left or right? Or yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Front or back? <laughs> I don't know. Today I'm just like. Hey, wait a minute! I drugged you again. Oh. You shouldn't be. Apparently, it's wearing off faster oh, no. and faster. <laughs> All right. All right. So here. So yes. All right. All right. Is he saying Yanny or Laurel? Yanny or Laurel? And I do okay. have it unmuted for our audience. Wait! 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 Okay. It, it's a male. It is a male voice. Oh, okay, Pro. it's a male voice. Okay. I may not be able to hear it. Certain male tones, I can't hear. I blew out my ear. You'll be able. It's it's just like regular. You'll you'll hear it. Okay. I, got, I was gonna say I don't want to hear it. I can't hear on a normal days. <laughs> it's not certain tones. It just doesn't work. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So Yanny or Laurel, and uh, we have it unmuted for you uh, for the audience out there. If uh, you guys type in what you think it is, yeah. Let us you know if it. you're hearing Yanny or Laurel. All right. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Shh. 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 Laurel. 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 Can we turn that up for Laurel? Oh, there you go. Okay. Laurel. 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 All right, all right. All right. What do you call them? What do you hear? The only thing I hear is Yanny. What? Same here. No. Yes. I hear Laurel. I cannot hear Yanny. All I hear is Yanny. There's like not even a question in my mind. try this again later because like seriously the only thing and I don't even what? know how there could be a question it says Yanny it does no <laughs> <laughs> you've melted my brain I don't even know what this is you're lying no you're... all of you that see Laurel you're lying there nice that see Laurel whatever here. okay if <laughs> you're <laughs> seeing sounds we right have problems <laughs> oh my gosh I'm, I'm very surprised because there is a little bit uh, I was looking at of course, now it's been a couple of days, and so people have examined it and picked it apart and, and kind of figured out why people are hearing whatever they're hearing. Okay. Apparently, the people who are able to pick up on lower tones uh -huh. are hearing Laurel, and the people who are able to pick up on the higher tones are hearing Yanny. Well, that would explain well, that it. Would ex yeah, because definitely. both of us have partial hearing loss in the lower range because of being uh -huh. in the military. And that's why I was worried, because yeah. you said okay. it was a guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. She didn't think she'd be able to hear it because it's right, a lower right. tone. But lower tones, we have a really hard time. Like, if there's background noise, I have a hard time picking up sounds right. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. But, but see, normally, um, as you get older, you stop hearing the higher tones. Oh, bro. We're going so, to be completely... <laughs> wait, I hear it again. <laughs> no, and so, so that's why I was really surprised because okay, I was okay. expecting... Because I know, you know, out of the three of us, I'm the youngest and I only hear Laurel. I cannot. I tried. I even... I watched a YouTube video... Where, on how to listen to it? On something? how to listen to it. And there was... A, how to listen to it. How to hear... I, I, I YouTubed how to hear Yanny. And th there was so some there was a guy who bro who broke it down and he he made the sound bite lower mm -hmm. and higher and okay. even when he made it higher I still heard Laurel I could well, at that not point it, hear could, it could be because your mind has already convinced you that that's what you hear so it's harder to hear the other side maybe but I tried so hard to hear Yanny you know if we had a if I get a better speaker set up maybe we would you know and we turned it up maybe, maybe we'd be able to do it maybe maybe, maybe. I can only hear Laurel 
See, I cannot hear no, Yanni. I hear Yanni. Yeah. And, it and sounds, I don't understand how you can hear Laura. I don't understand like, how you can hear Yanni. Right. And, 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 <laughs> and to me, it sounds like somebody <laughs> holding their nose. Yanni. Yeah. Yanni. 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 I just hear Yanni. I just. That is crazy to me. I don't even get it. But yeah, I was but, so sh- I was so sure that you guys would hear Laurel. But your explanation of the, the makes sense. different tones lower, makes sense. Yeah, because I've I've had my lower range hearing. Um, I, it was annihilated. <laughs> what twenty years ago? Wow. Yeah. You know. So wow. yeah, that's Man. why I was worried. That is crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, that's I don't pretty know if I'll hear it. I, yeah. So, so that is the Yanny Laurel controversy, and uh, it's well, huge. apparently it's even controversial yes. here on the Morning Cup. I'm I'm truly shocked. I am wow. I am just shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I like I said. I tried so hard to hear Yanny. Well, we'll have to I listen to it again and see. But yeah. like I said, to me, it was very clearly Yanny, and there wasn't any question. I mean, it was just Yanny, 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 Yanny. No. <laughs> I have the exact opposite experience. It's so clearly Laurel. It's so weird that I cannot hear it another way. Oh, so on no. on BuzzFeed, they did do a they had a poll. Okay. okay. Uh, and and apparently, forty seven percent of people are hearing Yanny. Really. Thirty nine percent of people wow. are hearing Laurel. Twelve percent are hearing both. And two percent per, have a more complicated answer than. Oh, so they're trying to be all sophisticated. Basically, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But it's forty-seven percent Yanni, thirty-nine percent Laurel, and twelve percent can hear both. So the twelve percent have really good hearing. Yeah, right? yeah. And then the forty-seven percent are having issues with the lower range, yeah. and, and then the thirty-nine. You know, okay, all right. Yeah. You know what? You know what they should have done when they did this poll. If I would have done this, I also would have put in their age range. Yes, exactly. Because that would have been it, that would have been an interesting comparison to yeah. see how you know versus how many people right. took how old they were all of that. Yeah, that but they're not doing a scientific study. Uh, and no, the way yeah, that your brain just went. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. I, it is. It is. It's it is so very interesting. To yeah, me. it is. That is really cool. Yeah, that is. Yeah. I'll be darned. Yeah. So. Wow. So there you go. And I'm surprised you have the, the category where people are able to hear both. Yeah, that is yeah. really interesting. That, well, like I, I said, they must I, have really good hearing. Right, so. but I, I couldn't imagine having that good of hearing nowadays. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I know I've been without it for quite some time. <laughs> um, I, I think hearing both would, depending on how they did it, like yeah. if it's if it's Laurel, Hesitant Yanny, right. you know, and there's a space in there, yeah. or if you're hearing them at the same time, they probably time. blended the track over just, the top of each other. Hey, <laughs> 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 in my coffee spittle. <laughs> <laughs> no spittling. Yeah, I had a it's throwback Thursday, hen, but yeah, but no. Uh, <laughs> throwback. I had a, a girl I went to high school with who, who shared it, and she said the first couple times she listened to it, she could hear nothing but Yanny. Okay. Now she can hear only Laurel. Really? Yeah. So, well, like I said, yeah. part of that's a mental component, though. Right, so. right. But I tried so hard. <laughs> <laughs> tried so hard. Wait, no, never mind. Yeah. So, so that's the that's the wow. huge, huge viral sensation that is now. Uh, Sweeping the internet and ripping apart friendships. And apparently ripping apart the morning show. No, yeah. it's not. No? Aww. Yes, it is. Really? Really? You want I want some be- violence in here. Let's go. Only three may enter, but only one may leave. Okay, okay. Let on go. that on that <laughs> note. All right. You just you just segued me into uh, all right, mine. Yeah, what are you talking about today? <laughs> all right. We're gonna have some gladiatorial <laughs> combat in here. <laughs> Woo! Oh, no. no combat. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh, what is this? Well you need to pull this yeah. up, please. Yeah, well, I, I keep telling you guys, you gotta let me know, you know. Yeah, we're 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 letting you know. I, I can't believe you hear Yanny. <laughs> that's that's it, man. I'm telling I'm you. There's just, not even a question. Oh, and, and it was nasaled. No. Yeah, it was a high. How, it was how like, is your? Yanny, how is the Laurel? Yanny. It's just a regular guy saying Laurel. Laurel. So it doesn't sound computerized or nasaled or anything like that. To it you? sounds maybe very slightly computerized, but it's definitely not nasally. Mine sounds really nasally. It's yeah. like Yanny, Yanny, Yanny. It does. That's so <laughs> weird. And it sounds like a computerized, uh, a computer holding it, its it nose. Does, if, if it does sound a little be. computerized. Laurel does sound yeah. a little. It, computerized. it just sounds like a like a Yanny, 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 kind of like that. It's it's weird. I guess I guess so my hearing's even worse. Huh? 
because it does to me. It's like yanny, yanny. <laughs> I mean, you I remember the so old weird. the old free um, um, programs uh-huh. where you could type in words. And have the computer say them yeah, yeah. back. That's what it sounds like <laughs> okay. to me, but right. highly nasal. <laughs> it does. So yeah, maybe does. I need to get my ears checked. No, no, it does also sound computerized to me. And okay. and I did see someone comment that it did. The someone who heard Yanny did say that it sounded nasally. Yeah. Oh, okay. But Laurel okay. does not sound nasally, but it does sound. But computerized. that's because it's in the lower range. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, yeah. that's, that's so interesting. Weird. Oh. So weird. Differently interesting. Okay, so back yeah. to gladiatorial back. combat yes. in the arena. Yes. I'm going to say that, and I think, you know, pugil sticks. Uh. <laughs> Undefeated champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is a trend. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, this is a pretty trend. This is... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can see. Oh, is it? We have a comment here. Joel says synthesized voice. Yes, I totally agree. It's definitely synthesized. So now, Joel, do you hear Laurel or Yanny? I want to know. Yeah, yeah, Joel, let us know in the comments down there. Do you hear hear Laurel or Yanny? (laughs) Yanny. (laughs) Hashtag Team Laurel. Oh no! See, division. She went there. there. Three may enter, Uh, only one will live. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So you mentioned three may enter, only one will live. This is a trend that is starting to go, if you will, viral uh, for weddings. They now have bouncy castles. Bouncy castles. Bouncy castles <laughs> at the wedding. Oh, that's so funny. before and after the nuptials, <laughs> the you know the bridal party is going in and having a good time. Obviously, jumping around. Okay. But right. I can I can see where um. Something may happen. Well, I just think, <laughs> you know what, what I find funny with this? And, yeah, and three may enter, only one will yeah. But, but th- okay, so this is like a big thing. I mean, you know, the girls in the whole wedding thing. I'm, I'm not trying to be sexist or anything, but it's like, you know, you spend you spend four hours on hair, you spend thousands on the dress, you got the makeup, you got this, and now you're going into a bouncy castle and all that's out the window. You're going to get all sweaty and, yeah, and, a bloody gonna nose. Nose. and a bloody nose. I mean, come on. Really? Happy, it's a bouncy castle. Happy, happy wedding. <laughs> got to no. find out how much air you can make I that think person this get. I so much fun. <laughs> I love this idea. I like it. It's a good trend. I want to tell you. Joe says uh, that's a, t- a Lake Powell floaty wedding. <laughs> Nice. I love point. it. Good point. Yeah, yes, definitely. Um, but Joel also answered your guys' question. Oh, he did. I did. It says it goes back and forth. So, so it sounds like, oh, okay. Hi, Renee. Oh, Renee <laughs> says hi. Hi, Renee. Thanks for joining the show. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but, I, I like that. I think it's really cool. But I can see, I, I okay, I've been married twice. Um, and I can see issues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I, I know, really can because I know my friends. I know my family. We get really combative. intense. Rowdy. <laughs> we, do, we do. Rowdy and combative. <laughs> like somebody's all, going down, all man. fun. Um, you know, and I, I just... Mm. <laughs> Do you know the first thing that I thought when I saw this was I bet they charge you so much more than a regular bouncy castle oh, because, absolutely. Like, because of the wedding industry yeah. markup on everything. Oh, yes. If you say you want a twenty dollar cake, it's five grand because right. it's for a wedding. <laughs> so I bet this bouncy castle is like five thousand dollars probably because it's for a wedding. Probably, mm-hmm. probably. And I like but, his idea though. He got caught at a floating wedding here on Lake Powell. They could totally start an work. industry for that. Except, uh, well, yeah, the park service would shut you down because they have a monopoly on the lake. So you had to go there. Well, I'm just saying show. we're supposed yeah, to be having, having fun. fun. Oh. Yeah, but I, even oh. your shirt says you shoot zombies. I shoot zombies in the face. Right, but we're supposed to be having fun. That is fun to him. I know. <laughs> right, but I just I am not a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. But anyway, I'll leave the park and, and It does sound fun, though. It, it does sound fun, but it um, I can yeah. see, like, okay, let's say this was on the lake, uh-huh. and and I'm using windstorm capsizing. Well, besides <laughs> that, let's say it's not. There's not a windstorm. Okay. Um, like me and my family, we get rowdy. We like to play. Yeah. Uh-huh. I could see one of us trying to jump another person <laughs> out of it. Yeah, right? like bouncing like <laughs> boing. There <Yeah>. we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe this is gonna just start having weddings with like costume changes. Like the bride has her 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 bridal dress for the okay. ceremony. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. and because that's already kind of a thing, uh, where where they have bridal dresses that are like long and flowy for the ceremony. But then when you get to the reception and you want to dance and it's usually like hot and sweaty, they yeah. have the shorter dress that they either that's change been into. A thing for quite some time. Okay, there. It's been a thing. Yeah, nobody can hear you. She says, that's been quite. That's been a thing for quite some time. I didn't realize. <laughs> yes, but yes. young whippersnapper. But maybe now there's going to be a third outfit that's like the jumpy castle jumpsuit. And if it's in the lake, they can have the, they can have the one where you pull a rip cord and it goes and you can float. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Well, on the topic, I think, you I think mentioned. Wait, 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 oh. oh. What? Oh, what? You're no. like popping and changing fine. backgrounds. That's fine. <laughs> but here's here's one. This is a site. Um, a small one. That that rents them. Um, and and this is out of the UK. But these guys, <laughs> look at the picture. Uh-huh. They're in. She's in that's, her wedding dress. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, really. <laughs> Yeah. There is no costume change. But at least she's in the back, so they can't launch her out. <laughs> that is true. true. That is true. true. But see, this person in the front, uh-huh. I could see that being me and hauling butt up into it to go. <laughs> launch him up into the roof. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? Because it's fun. That's what vicious. No, that's what bouncy You're so all about. You're vicious. What? I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> all right. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. But on this site. Uh-huh. Okay, like I said, this is this is in the UK. There are other things that look like they're about to go viral here, like this one. What, it's what a is disco this? dome. <laughs> is it a bouncy disco it dome? It is. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. What? It's really a disco ball in the middle yeah. going around, and you uh, bounce it. Really? And you bump your head on the disco ball and die. I'm, I'm, I'm Maybe sure it's inflatable. Uh, it could be. It could be. <laughs> That's um, crazy. But I could see that one being fun as well. Yeah. Plus, you That's know, interesting. It, it, it's enclosed, yeah. so yeah. you can't really <laughs> get out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you know what? Man. If you hit them hard enough, they'll hit the wall and then come back down, and they'll probably launch somebody else into but another wall. They also have enough. this. It's a. It's a. Blow up photo booth for your wedding. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, that looks so, interesting. You know? yeah. So yeah, I mean, I I see the bouncy thing has it's blown so up. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. You were trying to avoid it. No, 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 no. It you can't avoid that pun. Uh, you can't avoid that pun. That one just naturally happens, yeah. right? So. That's spectacular. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, but yeah, speaking of um. Of, of weddings, I actually what in July I think it is. I have I'm heading out to California. My cousin is getting married. Your cousin? Oh, that's right. My oh, cousin, I forgot my, about that. My, my, my fun. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I just saw cousin. his face, and his face said, "Oh God, I have to go to a wedding." <laughs> that's no, what I no, just saw. That is. Oh God, I, I have to go to California. <laughs> oh, all right, that's probably more. Accurate. Yeah, which one's worse? Oh, God, crossing the California. border to California stand or going to a oh, wedding? My God. You combine you? them together? It's California. <sighs> <laughs> but I'm rolling my eyes at you a little bit. But she, California stand? My, yes. my cousin likes things like this. Yeah. And so I'm I'm wondering if maybe Do you know just maybe get it in the watch be this and get this as and and, and That'd be pretty cool. Right I also have a wedding to go to this summer. My sister is getting married in August. I re- you know what? Yes. I like funerals better than I like weddings. Wow. Because at least the poor guy knows he's already dead. Wow. I'm just saying. Holy crap. Right? <laughs> you went there. I did. I did. I totally did. Yeah. I'd much I'd much oh. rather do that. All right. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Did you watch the movie Four Weddings and a Funeral too many times? Is that I don't why? think I've ever seen that movie. Oh. I have also not seen that movie. Really? Well, there you go. You lose. <laughs> well, with you, I'm surprised because <laughs> never mind. We're not going to go there on the morning show. That'll, yeah, be, yeah. that'll be the oh midnight show. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be an after hour. <laughs> yes. yes, that will be the one in the private group. <laughs> we don't want to offend our general audience here. No, we don't oh want to shock our general audience to that level. <laughs> oh. 
David says, it is California, Stan. Thank you very much, David. Yes, yes. I'm still rolling my The eyes. USS of California. The USSR of California. Those guys turn uh, they, 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 I, I, I left. left. I left. I know. She's from California. <laughs> she escaped. But every once in a while, I'm like, wait, why do you oh, keep wanting to go back? Because my family is there. You have to read the new comic for Bouncy me. Bouncy funerals. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, this could be amazing. You remember Weekend at Bernie's? No! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my oh god. No. That's a whole I'm, new oh, show but, right there. But given, given your instructions for yeah, your funeral, <laughs> I'm that makes sense. I'm officially changing the instructions for what I want to be done with myself after I die. <laughs> well, you've got to tell everybody what your original instructions were. Okay, my original that. my original instructions. So I want to be cremated. Okay. And I want to be mixed with a bunch of glitter. Okay. Shock. Just, I mean, really. Yeah. Glitter uh, freak. I, <laughs> we had this conversation yes, yesterday. Yes, I know. I know. It just, it, it's attracted to me. Glitter is. And I'm attracted to it. So, anyways... Uh, cremated, mixed she with... generates it. I really do. It is on you. I don't I mean, know how. Was... <laughs> she generates it. I really do sweat glitter. You I do. believe you it. do. Yeah, so I... there is no mixing you with glitter. It I'm already good gonna... there. <laughs> they're going to cremate me and it's just going to be pure glitter. Yeah, like... Either that or because there's so much glitter in your body, you're going to turn into thermite and melt through the floor. <laughs> Anyway. Uh, okay, <laughs> cremated, mixed with glitter, and put into like little pouches and passed out to everyone like party favors. Like party favors. Okay, so now yeah. you have a different thing. That because of the bouncy houses, what do we have? Renee says you're a unicorn. <gasps> she is. She's a she's a unicorn. You just can't see the horn because it's uh, invisible to us mere mortals. It's right. Oh, and then uh, David says might as well have a blow up swimming pool filled with jello. You know that sounds like an excellent idea no. for wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> just say it. <laughs> yes, yes, excellent, David. Yeah, we need to start an LPNN after hours. I don't know what you're on, on a your... different channel. <laughs> <laughs> a different channel. <laughs> Nobody'd watch it. The, the insanity level would just be off the. You're off not the allowed to plan my funeral. <laughs> my original idea was to take her ashes with the glitter and put them in little party poppers and shoot them in people's faces. No, <laughs> not in people's faces. Okay, fine. No. In here. <laughs> yeah, mix it with some gunpowder and off you go. No, I don't want to be mixed but with gunpowder. About... You should be mixed uh -oh. with gunpowder. <laughs> I'm being mixed with glitter. <laughs> what do we have? David, David shared a link. Sweating Paris glitter. Entertainment. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, you know what? I think he showed this to me yesterday. I'm just going to make it come up uh, over here. And Gina says glitter and rhinestones. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Some oh. girls are just born with glitter in their veins, he says. Yeah. So yes, we'll go ahead Paris. and I'll throw that over there for everybody real quick. This, cause is, this is you. So. This is, yes. This is this totally is, you. Oh, my god. This goodness. is actually Paris Hilton. Yeah. yeah. But the Very whole glitter, glitter. In, in their veins, that is you. I yeah. really, I don't know. I can't know. stand it. I, well. No, not you. The glitter. <laughs> I can't wow. stand glitter. <laughs> it gets everywhere. The truth, you can't clean the it out. truth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you. I swear. It's the glitter. It's not you. It's me. It's the glitter. <laughs> oh. And Gina says glitter and rhinestone. Stones, yeah, yeah, I like rhinestones. Like a rhinestone cowboy. No. Oh, All right, I'll just be quiet. So anyway, right. we were... No. We got completely sidetracked. I don't know where we were going. Uh, bouncy funerals. Yes, funerals. Yes, bouncy funerals. Weekend at Bernie's. Yes. Woo. So before I'm cremated, put me in a bouncy castle. Do you want to be in the air chambers in the bouncy castle? Or do you want to be sprinkled around so everyone gets coated in your glittered ashes? No, that that's sounds really <laughs> morbid. No. No. And you no. don't tell people until afterwards. No. <laughs> Worst <laughs> That is evil. Worst funeral ever. I don't even want to know your plans for your funeral. Yeah, this is why he's not allowed to plan my funeral. What? You are not allowed to plan my okay. funeral. Okay, so Michael says... says Michael, send us a link, uh, ruindays.com. I need to see that. Oh, yes. okay. All right. We'll yes. see what we can come up with. I know what this is. I've seen it. You have? Okay. Yes, it's what is good. It? I don't know. We ruin your enemy's day by sending stupid <laughs> glitter smell. I've seen it. I've heard of this. They send like... They, sand. Yeah. It's like an envelope full glitter of glitter. Poop. 
Yep. And you open it up and just a poof of glitter yeah, comes out. Are you sure you didn't start this? Thing? I swear <laughs> to God it wasn't me. I would never oh send goodness. someone this, smelly this is, poop. This is similar to the, uh, well, it's a lot nastier then, but they have a thing where you can, you can. Uh, it's a website that you call up and they and they sell potatoes and they write things yes. on potatoes and then mail it to people. Yes, I've seen that. <laughs> and that's all they do. They write, they write different things on potatoes and mail them to people. It was an idea that was originally on Shark Tank. Oh, is that okay? Uh, right, well, I yeah, guess that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't well, watch Shark Tank. So. I don't Me either, either, but I, re- I looked into it a little bit. I was going to talk about that on the morning show like last week. Oh, Michael says you can send the it. people glitter bombs. Glitter bombs, yeah. See, we that's more like what I was thinking. Glitter bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. We'll just I mail want. you. <laughs> I don't want to know what the postage is going to be on that. <laughs> just <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm envelope sure. is really full. I'm sure we could get a corporate rate. <laughs> Make sure you have air holes. <laughs> yeah, hey, you'll be fine. Give me air holes. You're fine. You're part use, unicorn. You'll be okay. If we use UPS, it wouldn't take that long. <laughs> oh Postal service could take a while. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my yeah, now you're now you're giving me pause for thought on like what I would like to have done with my my remains when it's oh, time. No. I know you want to be shot off into to space. space. Well, yeah, that was one of my things. I'd love to get you know, get cremated, put me in a canister, launch me into space, but that's expensive. And you know, I mean, you get to explore the wild, you know, frontier of space, you know, and we could go into a whole Star Trek thing. But you know, I was thinking on a more practical level. What we could do is pack my ashes into claymores made at the oh factory. Oh my god! Uh, and for those of you that don't know, claymores are uh, are directional mines that the military uses, and they're one of my favorite uh, my favorite tools of destruction. Uh, when I was in the military, obviously, but then I would actually be putting good to use. I just make sure that I'm not one of the training ones, and then you know I'd be accomplishing something after my death, versus my life, where <laughs> apparently all I can do is. It's crazy morning shows. <laughs> you do a lot more than yeah. that. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, can, be very I, can satisfying. See, I can see where you're coming where you're coming from with that because, you know, of your personality and you enjoying the military um, and, and, and the history mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. whatnot. Um, but you mentioned Claymore, and all I can think of, there's a reason on the Claymores, even though... They are shaped a specific way. Yeah, this side toward enemy. Right. <laughs> it says this side toward enemy. Uh-huh. Now, the poor, stupid guy who's <laughs> so freaked out and not paying attention to what he's doing and turns it the wrong way, you'd end up killing your own. Well, then he deserved to die because he's brain dead. No! <laughs> wow! That's bad training no! right there. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> so, what I was saying is, I wanted to be in Claymore. I guess I got to be more specific. Put it in a Marine's Claymore because he knows how to use the damn thing. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, moving on. Wow. <laughs> you see where I was going with that. David says you don't. You just put, like, really, yeah, yeah. And and I like the way that you put it, uh, talking about his love of, like, the history. Yes. And yes. You, that's like a really flowery way of saying he just wants to blow people up. Well, that's yeah. why he joined the Marine Corps. <laughs> As you can see from my shirt. Oh my what goodness! Was the re- why did you join the Marine Corps originally? To way reduce, back when? to reduce the surface population of the Earth and make America great. There you wow. go. <laughs> Obviously, I was young and idealistic, wow. and things have changed. I've learned a lot since then. You know, it's been a while. It's yeah, been it twenty has. years. But you know, I. It's just what I wanted to do back in the day. And obviously now I realize how ridiculous that was. But I, I still yeah. miss I miss some of the stuff I got to used to do. And, man, it's good times, man. Good times. It is. Military it was. is... is, is <coughs> well, yeah. But yeah, when I, you yeah. grow up, you, you <laughs> advance out of the original normal... Well, not normally. Um, depending on your reasoning for mm-hmm. going right. in, yeah, you... Evolve yeah. away from that original reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, then I feel like that's that's probably true for well, a lot of people. Everybody changes yes. over yeah, time. People, you know, oh, I mean, yeah. you learn a lot more history. You learn yeah. more or more about yourself about reality. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. it's just kind of the way it went. Uh, let's see. Michael says, uh, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's pretty <laughs> funny." You know, normally I'd agree with you, and, and I do know some Marines where that is the case, but you know what? That means they're reading it and putting it the right way versus what she's talking about where they're like, hey, what's this? Boom. <laughs> like I said, oh, in that case, oh, I'm doing no. a service. 
to everybody else because that guy's going to get somebody else killed. So I might as well do it for him. Oh, <laughs> as a claim. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm going to be glitterified and put into a bouncy castle. You're going to be a claymore. Ready, go. I have no clue. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, I I'm, pretty much I just want to be donated to science because it saves on money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I like you. There's, there's no, no altruistic here. There is no altruistic no. reason. Like, I want to help people. I want to help research. No, it's it's just cost efficient. It is. I like it that. Is. I it's it is. one of those things that they they put in the museums where it's real people and you get to see all their innards and they're like, pretty much, probably. You know, like, um, those things I appreciate me out, that. Man. And 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 after they're done with you, they send your your um, cremated remains. Back to your next of kin. Oh, wow! So like, ah, we're done with it. You're gonna have pretty a pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That would be it. Oh, that's, no. that's you know, um, I like that. <laughs> some some people in my family, you know, want to be cremated and and stuck into you know just a little bit of them stuck into a locket so they can travel with. Well, there with, you uh, go. There you go. That's, that's nice. That's nice. I just cool. you know. Well, that's I like it. and that's part of the reason I want everyone at my funeral to get a little bit so because that you can travel with them. Yeah, so that they can they can you know maybe spread them somewhere we've had a good memory or take it somewhere new or okay. hold on to it as a keepsake. So it's like because every every relationship with every individual is different and means something different to all of them. Sure, sure. And so they get to choose how to kind of remember me. But you know, see, I have a problem with this. I understand where you're coming from, yeah, but yeah. I've watched the show show Supernatural. Uh, oh, <laughs> no. Do you have any idea how much of a pain in the neck it would be to track all those down to put you to sleep? <laughs> Her haunted spirit but is going to be out there making people other. laugh. Okay, you know? <laughs> that's, my other, that's my other motivation. Is that I want all right, all right. harder to be, keep down. I want to be spread so far in so many different directions that nobody can ever <laughs> but, destroy oh, my oh, remains. Oh. All right, you bring up Supernatural on this. Now, how epic would it be? My favorite scene, and I know your favorite scene, how epic would it be for death? Yeah, death all right, all right. to come <clears throat> looking for you. Be like, hey, that you intro. need to get yeah. your mind. Oh, my goodness, yeah. that oh, intro. Oh, uh-huh. I, know, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about right. as soon as you said it. I mean, yeah. really, because what a powerful scene. If, if mm-hmm. let's say, let's say, it everything supernatural talks about is true. Sure, sure. Okay, um, and so your remains are here and here and here and here and here, all over. Sam the and Dean would be all over the place right. trying to find your ass, and <laughs> that would be trying to get you. <laughs> Amazing, hilarious note uh, of death and destruction, <laughs> glitteriness, unicornness, and mayhem, and uh, and general things. Yeah, and bouncy castles. And bouncy castles. We're gonna have to call it a day, I think. All right. All right. So I, I do believe it is time for Rupert to Yay, come out Rupert. and say hello. Yay. Oh, uh, before we go. Uh, oh, before we go. Before we go. Before we go. I have a challenge for us for tomorrow. All right. Okay. What you, got? what you got? Each of us has to build. A Rupert. We have to build a Rupert? We have to build a Rupert. Rupert. What do you mean? Like a crafty Rupert or? I'm all over this. Heck yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and the craft <laughs> freak is over I here. I did not this. <laughs> we each have to make a Rupert. All right. All Our right. own version of Rupert. All right. All right. So you guys should look uh, look forward to Rupert tomorrow. We'll yes. have to see what happens. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and, and for joining us in this morning he show. He cannot blow up. On his own. No, 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 no. You can't make no. these arbitrary yes. rules. He cannot blow up. Not arbitrary to not He is an RPT. Up. He's a rocket he propelled can turtle. He a rocket, it just can't. No. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, on that, thank Tomorrow you very much for joining us. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to share, like, and comment on this if you guys had a good time or if you think anybody else will. We'll catch you later on. In the, in the day for the, the evening news, possibly some other shenanigans during the day. Yes. In the end, who knows? But here comes Rupert. Yay, Rupert. <laughs>